Okay, we have a 2014 Nissan Altima, the four-cylinder engine here. We're replacing the catalytic converter for the exhaust manifold right here. First thing we'll do is remove this, uh, I guess the air trunk to the cleaner box here. Um, it normally would be number 10s on each end here, take those out. This one didn't have it. And then just kind of lift up. All right, it's got in the way here. And it'll expose all those little heat shields and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get all these off too. Number 10s, three here, two right there at the bottom, I believe, and then one more at the bottom of that heat shield down there. Uh, reality, let's just take this one off. That one we can worry about when we get it out. Uh, go ahead and unplug the O2 sensor though. This is the upstream O2 sensor right here. We'll also go ahead and try to remove that first about take uh, before taking it out, just because we'll have a little more leverage with it being, you know, on the engine still. So um, these four tens, one, two, three, four. Let's get those off this heat shield. I see there's another one hiding somewhere. I don't think so. Let's get this off so we can expose it first. Okay, guys, with the heat shield removed, it exposes our nuts here on the block. So we can get that removed later, but we're gonna do the bottom first. I'm um, having trouble removing this, so I might have to take it out of the vehicle and try to see if I can do something because I don't have much room because my O2 sensor socket is kind of stripping and I don't want that to happen. So let's lift it up. So now we're at the bottom here. Uh, all we're gonna do is just remove uh, three 15 millimeter nuts here all around. I've sprayed a WD-40 to make my life a little easier. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this and then go back up top and finish up what we're doing. So we're back up top. I was able to get the O2 sensor out with another O2 sensor socket, but um, now we're just gonna remove it from the exhaust, or uh, remove it from the engine itself. Uh, it's gonna be five number 15 nuts all around, as you can see. All we gotta do is remove those and just literally go back and pull it straight up. And that's pretty much it. We'll transfer all these heat shields over during it. Okay guys, so I know a lot of y'all were wondering in the beginning, um, but my original plan was to use my shallow socket and hatch it to get that other nut off right there which i got it off but my ratchet is jammed on the alternator so good job uh me anyway so we're gonna have to just kind of we're not gonna remove the alternator but we're gonna swing it upwards by losing these two or taking this bolt off and swinging this upwards but first we do have to um remove the drive belt from there so with the 17 socket that's what you're going to use on the tensioner stud to release the tension um you can go from here if you can i'm going from the bottom down here in the wheel well, there should be a cover right here that you can access the tensioner, which is right here. I'm using my uh, drive belt tool here, 17 on the end. And pretty much I'm going in the on position, releasing the tension, and just getting the belt out the way. Once we do that, we can start messing with the alternator. All right, so now with the belt removed, uh, I'm going to remove the bolt in the bottom that you'll see right here, the number 13. So we're going to get that out the way, and then we're also going to loosen this bolt on top, also number 13. So we can just kind of swing it, the alternator up a little bit to give us clearance right there. Just because I know a lot of y'all are going to cry, but I'll show you how I swung it up. With a pry bar, on the ear right here, on that bolt or something, and just kind of bring it up. And that's it. And then we can even tighten the bolt over there to hold it right here in place. But now we have room to get to that nut. Alright, so now all my nuts have been removed. Just going to go forward on this exhaust here. Oh, exhaust manifold cat, whatever. Bring it forward all the way forward now we're just going to lift it up off the uh, down pipe there and she comes straight out right here might require a little maneuvering but for the most part there you go so now i'm going to transfer all these heat shields the ones i couldn't reach over to the new cap uh be sure to also remove this gasket we're going to replace this here just get a little flat head pop it out and then we're going to bring the new one in be sure when you bring the new one in line up with these first before we slap in here also replacing this as well Okay guys, so an issue I come across, or I came across um, with my new cat here is transferring the heat shields over. Um, so the, the back one that goes in the back side here that I have here, I had to pretty much uh, drill a hole for that bolt to properly sit so the back is in. Uh, however, the front right here, that was right here, that literally sat like so, will not fit in any orientation I go with. I'm assuming it's because this is our new heat shield, I guess. Sure, whatever. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to leave this one off. But, you know, the top one that comes off the exhaust manifold itself from the engine block, from the engine block, pretty much looks like it fits well. So we'll use that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, this is just my own personal thing here. I just didn't want to leave this heat shield, like, off and thrown away. So I kind of just work something out to make it fit on here. 
Probably didn't need it on there, but whatever. I have these folded over so it doesn't rattle. So it seems nice and secure. Then on top of that, we're gonna put the uh, top heat shield on afterwards. This bolt, I noticed, didn't have a space for it, so it didn't even really matter for that. It's really only gonna be these three holding it, but enough where it doesn't rattle. Um, also, because I know everybody always asks me this, where did I get my cat from? Don't worry about it. You can't get one from these people anyways, unless you're also commercial. So don't worry about too much about that. Just get a cat and do the job. So <laughs> not trying to be rude, but just saying. Getting tired of those messages. <laughs> also, don't forget to remove the old gaskets, down pipe and on the uh, engine block itself, on the head. Um, we're gonna replace them. They're very good at replacing them. I mean, they are metal gaskets, so some people don't, but if it comes with it or if you wanna do it right, replace them. Also, there are three studs. They go in there. They're on the old exhaust manifold here. Um, cat, sorry. They literally, you know, they're screwed in. They're just studs. Just back them out. Uh, these usually come out pretty easy once you remove the nut. If it doesn't, maybe use a pair of vice grip and grab them on that point. But besides that, don't damn. If you damage them, just replace them with bolts. It doesn't matter. For as long as it's the same thread pattern, just put something in. Uh, to hold it but i'm not going to put these in until after i put the cat in just so that makes it easier for us on the bottom so let's go ahead and slap this new one in and get it torqued all right so i have the uh, cat in place torqued down uh 31 foot pounds there is like a weird like a 10 times uh torque so pretty much it's um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all at 31 foot pounds just going around that order so pretty much done with that and throw the heat shields back on i've already plugged in the o2 sensor here uh we're gonna go ahead and put our alternator back in there just to tighten down the bolts and then uh we're gonna go in the bottom i'm gonna put the belt on at the same time i look at the vehicle and uh torque down the last three uh, nuts slash studs down there on the uh, down pipe for the cap here all right so we're at the bottom now i kind of already did it but uh all we did was just put the studs in first three holes actually lined up new gasket our nuts in place torqued down to 11 foot pounds and that's pretty much it so i wasn't really much to show went ahead and put the belt in already as well so we're good to go thanks for watching please like and subscribe more videos to come